Ho hello there. I'm Bochen, a cute bear. Sorry to keep you all waiting. It's me, the super idol of the cute bear world, Nimicon. <laughs> Don't forget about discussing equations just because you're happy I'm here. You can't see because I'm shining too bright. I'm a blue and super cute bear. <laughs> Just your ordinary cute bear, Nimicum. Uh. <laughs> Hara. By the way, Belchan teacher. Usually we use our favorites like x or y as variables. But you said we can use symbols like question mark or square. Or even pictures, right? That's right. As long as it's recognizable as a variable, basically anything goes. So, is it wrong to set several characters like love or bell as one variable? Um, that's it of question. That one characters are written consecutively like this. It is interpreted as. So love would be L times of times V times Z for variable multiplication. And Bo would be B times C times L three variable multiplication. Um, isn't that fine? Not allowed? I think so too. If we're not strictly adhering to precision. In context, love is one variable and bile as one variable can be generally understood. So, strictly speaking, it's not allowed. If you're strict, then setting a rule. Like using parentheses with corners as variable delimiters. Like this. Or like this. Would prevent any confusion with multiplication. Resolving the issue. Oh, I see. So, if love was meant as L times O times V times E, it would look like this. Making it distinguishable when love is one variable. Exactly. That's the idea. Oh, I see. By the way, Bolchen teacher, writing X as X with parentheses with corners is bothersome. Can't we just not use parentheses with corners for single character variables? That's true, writing single character variables just as X. Even in complicated cases, would only be interpreted as of times X times Y times by times Z. So it shouldn't be a problem. I see. But writing love with parentheses with corn is still bothersome. Since we just need to avoid confusing love. As an abbreviation for our times O times V times Z. We can just prohibit abbreviated multiplication. Like writing love times x times y times bell times z. Exactly. But instead, you have to write x as 3 times x times y times z. Oh, I see. The other way to avoid confusion is to declare in the beginning in this context only love bell x, y, and z are used as variables. Right, if only love, bell x, y, and z are variables. Because there are no variables like l and o. There's no confusion with l times o times v times e. Exactly. What with this rule? If you declare only z as x, y, and z as variables, can you see the problem? Oh, I got it. Because size can be. Either when variable size are x times y times z, it makes the declaration meaningless. Right on. So, we need to carefully choose the names of the declared variables. To avoid such confusion? If we go with this rule, yes. That's troublesome. It's not just troublesome, more fundamentally. It limits the freedom to name variables. I see. So, to summarize, as long as it's clear that some character sequence is one variable, it's fine. Exactly, Nimicon. 
A variable is like a mark that signifies the same number goes in the same name. So as long as it's clear where the mark starts and ends, anything is fine. I see, considering the original meaning of a variable, that makes sense. Alright. Going back to the original meaning is very important. I'll add that to my mental treasure box. Hurrah. <laughs> By the way, because this kind of rule is not general, especially in formal settings like exams. It's safer to use single character variables, right? Yes. So, Bolchen teacher, what's your recommended rule? My recommendation is to prohibit abbreviation and multiplication and freely use variables of two or more characters. Why why recommend such a unique rule? <laughs> Hara. One reason is when applying math to analyze complex things, lots of variables come into play. For example, naming variables like love to represent the numerical value of the depth of love makes it easy to understand what the variable represents. Oh, that sounds very convenient. Indeed. Not in applying math to something, but even in pure mathematics. Like in university math departments. The English alphabet is often not enough, so we use capital letters like this, different typicus like this, Greek letters like alpha and beta, Hebrew letters like Aleph, and various other characters not familiar with everyone. Difficult to understand. Eh. Uh, it seems a bit forced to restrict variables to just one character. People starting to study math might unnecessarily feel uneasy because of that. I want to feel easy. Hara. For the sake of caution, I said it's preferable to be more understandable. I don't say we must stop using X or Y in. Okay, fisheries. Hara. <laughs> <laughs>